this video, I am going to be talking about how I went about creating the butcher block that you saw in the new setup video. There's going to be another new setup video coming out because I changed a lot with my setup, as you can probably see with my background, and that'll be releasing shortly after this for real this time. I'd seen a lot of people do the butcher block idea. I like the butcher block idea, but my setup is predominantly white. I didn't want a woody color coming in and then me having to add that into my setup more and more. I really wanted to stick with more white and neutral colors. And then if I wanted to add colors that pop later, I could. So what I ended up doing is I bought a butcher block from Home Depot. That butcher block from Home Depot, I will have linked and I'll show it now, but I bought an island size butcher block. So it's six feet wide and a little over three feet deep. This is meant to replace the two desks that I had going. I just found that my old desk setup was a little too narrow for me. And now I can clutter a much larger space without having to feel encased within desks. With the butcher block, I also purchased some other supplies, some saw tables, the saw tables I went about in. First of all, I wouldn't have done any of this had we not had a garage. We live in an apartment. If I did this in the house, we would have had to kick us all out for a week so that it, we could fumigate everything. Um, but because we had the garage, my girlfriend was willing to park outside for a couple of days. I was able to knock this all out. But we got the saw table arms. We got some sanding, sandpaper, um, specifically sand sponges, gloves. Um, I got a preconditioner to finish both sides, stain. I got a uh, matte finish for the desk because I don't really like glossy finishes on wood and I didn't think that would go well with my setup. So I'll show you everything that I did, but basically I took the desk, or I took the butcher block, set it on the uh, saw table or saw arms, and then I went about sanding both sides. I did sand both sides prior to actually going in and doing any of the preconditioner or any of the wood finisher um, or staining. And I did that because I don't know, I didn't want to go back and get dust everywhere, and I didn't want to have to do any guesswork when it came to what had I preconditioned and what had I not preconditioned. So after I went in and sanded, I believe with 220 grit sandpaper, I will fact check myself while I'm making this, uh, or while I'm doing the post video editing. And then after I did that, I did one coat of preconditioner on both sides after sanding it, and then let that dry, sanded it, flipped it over, sand it again. I highly recommend doing this if you do the exact same thing that I did. Um, do it with two people because the tabletop is over 100 pounds. It's really awkward and flipping it by yourself just isn't super fun. That is how I did it. I was too stubborn to ask my girlfriend for help and often I was doing this at like two or three in the morning. So I didn't want to wake her up if she was asleep um, and didn't want to bother her if she was playing video games or something. After I did the preconditioner, let that dry for a few hours, just based on the directions on the box. I then went in, sanded that, and did the stain. I did three coats of stain following the instructions on the box, which or on the bin. Uh, it's midnight here, which is why the lights just shut off. I have some Govi LED lights that are programmed to turn off at midnight to remind me to actually go to bed. So three coats of the stain, and then after that, uh, I did do the stain to one side. After I did the stain to one side, I did the matte finish to that same side and then flipped it over and stained the back side and finished the back side. So if I have the piece of wood like this, this is the top, this is the bottom, stain, 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 finish, 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 flip, stain, 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 finish, finish, finish. I don't know if I would necessarily repeat the exact same way I did it. That's probably the easiest way to do it. I just would make sure that whatever stain you end up doing isn't a fast drying stain. Reason being, I do have some blotches, uh, which I'll show you in the video so that you understand what I mean by blotch, but there are some thicker parts where I didn't wipe up the stain super well. And then I would recommend not using a fast drying polyurethane finish not that I have any problems with the polyurethane itself. It's just there were some micro bubbles that were left behind. And I've heard 
after watching lots of woodworking videos that if you use something that's a little slower drying then all those bubbles will essentially dissipate because they have time to settle that is a very quick idea of how i went about doing this i would keep in mind um, i did get the birch island it is a little bit of a softer wood so it does dent it had a lot of dents and imperfections with it in the first place if i were to go back through and do this again i would have a i would have a power tool that sands and when i go through and sand everything i would do a couple of different grits instead of just one grit i just didn't want to spend a bunch of money on sandpaper and i knew that i could redo this at a later date this is more of my first trial run I would also get wood filler so you can fill in all the imperfections in the wood. There were a lot more of imperfections on this $370 slab of wood than I would ever care to admit. Um, but I know that I can always go back through because this is butcher block, sand everything down and start from essentially square one without losing too much of the material. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Hopefully you found that helpful if you decide to do something like this yourself. If you have done something like this yourself and you liked your results better or did anything different from what I did here, please feel free to drop that in the comments below because I want people to see how others have done this successfully and so you can avoid any of the pitfalls that I experienced. Thank you so much again and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day.